Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. In this video, we are going to be talking about uh, the Flip Normals lighting scenes for, very exciting, Blender. Yay! <laughs> Basically our first Blender video ever. <laughs> Actually, yeah. We've talked about Blender before, but... <laughs> <laughs> we don't we favor that. So we we had the Flip Normals lighting scenes out for quite some time now for a bunch of different softwares like V-Ray and Arnold Moto. And it basically allows you to drag and drop a model into... Uh, a pre-made lighting scene yep. with 20 different setups and just to get super nice lighting right away. This has been heavily requested for Blender and uh, this is out for Blender. Yeah, and the lighting scene for Blender has been out for a while, but it's recently received a few updates. And so we wanted to, you know, make a specific video about this, just showing off some of the super cool features that you have in Blender. Yeah. And a super nice thing about this is that for the other render engines or the other 3D packages, you have to go out and invest in more expensive 3D packages. But whereas with Blender, you know, being free, all you have to invest in is the lighting scene. And then, you know, without any super crazy upfront investment, you can actually get super nice renders. Yeah, with a lot of software, like with Maya, you need first Maya, then you might have to get V-Ray on top as well. Yeah. So th it can be quite heavy. Also, Blender is it's just very accessible. Yeah. It's, it, it boots up super quickly and it's fairly easy to use as well. So let's just jump real quick into Blender and let's see what this is about. If you, when you get the scene, the very first thing you're gonna be seeing is an empty scene. We have just imported a simple OBJ into yep. this. Very simple. We're not gonna show you how to do that. <laughs> and um, some instructions here, if you wanna see them. Uh, this scene is made by uh, uh, Björn Freise, a very talented Blender user who helped us actually make it. <laughs> 100% made it. So, you know, shout out to him. It's amazing. He's done an amazing job at converting the yeah. ex existing lighting scene to Blender. And I think uh, the Blender version might be probably one of the easiest and most accessible ones to use. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big Blender user, but I was able to get some pretty damn good renders out of this, basically right out of the box. Yeah, just because I, it's I, so simple. I also think um, with with GPU enabled, it's probably one of the fastest uh, versions of our of yeah. our lighting scene. Probably. Um, and you just I mean it's it's I've been I've been really impressed by the the speed and and the quality we can get out of the the render scene here in Blender as well. Yeah, it's quite fantastic. Yeah. So the very first thing you gotta do is you gotta go into the preferences, which is Control Alt U to get up, and you just gotta enable um, Cycles Compute Device and set this to CUDA. Yeah. Well, uh, if, if your device supports it, that is. If your device supports it, I have some issues on my on my computer. My daily driver is a laptop, and I don't have an amazing graphics card, mm -hmm. so I have to actually set this to off or to none. Otherwise, it just crashes like crazy. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that might be something to keep in mind. Apart from that, just enable, make sure GPU is enabled, and that makes it significantly faster. Yeah. So then what you got to do is you have got to parent this guy. Well, you don't have to. This is optional. Uh, you can you can parent your ob object under the main locator here, and just hit Control P, and let's try that again. I'm on a tablet. <laughs> the annoying. There we go. So now if you were to uh, go into time slider, you can now see that it is moving around based on this. This means you don't have to move the camera, move the lights or anything. It's just right away in the right spot. Super handy stuff. And then you go under this guy, right next to object mode and select rendered. This is, just means it's going to be rendering it. It's very simple to get different light setups now. We simply just hit control click on the setup we want. So if you want soft warm, you just control click on that. It's important to control them both. The eye here just means you're going to be able to see it, and uh, the the camera means it's actually going to render. So this is this is what makes this so powerful because now you can just go through this and you can just see how quickly you get a completely different light setup. Yeah, this is the only other version I think that's comparable to be able to do this is the one in Moto. Yeah, I think probably. Um, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit more. It still works really well for Maya, yeah. but it's it's just a just nature of how it's designed yeah. it just makes it a bit easier. So you can see very, very quickly you can get different setups here. And it looks really good. Yeah. We uh, we designed this because we were doing this stuff all the time. <laughs> we would we would just, you know, do renders for our own models and everything. And we were like, why not just automate this? Yeah. So whenever you see any promo shots from Flip Normals, <laughs> it's just it's just done in like we always I mean we only render with the lighting scene now. Yeah. The nice thing about the lighting scene 
for anyone who hasn't used it for other software is that you're not restricted to the 20 scenes that are there. No. You can go in and customize them any way you want because, you know, all the lights, usually each scene will have maybe like three or four different lights. You have a key light, a rim light, fill light, and then maybe some additional bounce lights. And it, just by rotating the lights, you can achieve a completely different look. Yeah. So and turning off one light, okay, you have another look. Um, that's... Change your color of them. Yeah. You can also enable and uh, disable some from a different one. That can make, you can mix and match them. Where if you want you want the key light from one, but to fill out from another, you yeah. can do that. But you can also see now that some of these, this one is fine, but some of these were a bit overblown. And that's not because the lighting is bad. It's because it's designed to work with different materials. Right now, it's just a default white material, yeah. which looks quite cool. And we, who are we to say that what material you should use? Well, we have <laughs> said that. <laughs> yeah, so each, each scene is technically designed with one material in mind but it doesn't mean that you can only use that one material no. it's just something we've optimized one light set up for sort of one material something that complements it well in terms of color and contrast but through experimentation you'll find that a lot of these materials actually they actually work with multiple scenes as well yeah absolutely some of these are really cool like there's some subtle sss in them and uh there's just a bunch of different stuff in, in them, like super bright pink. <laughs> yeah. Which uh, this is actually one of my favorite. We use this we use this a lot for uh, for some of the different ones. I think this is called New Toy. Mm. And uh, you know, you just get some pretty cool stuff. And you're welcome to change how everything looks. You're welcome to uh, you know to go into a new scene. You see, this doesn't work super well. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, then you're welcome to use something like a gray one. Maybe this works better. Mm. Maybe you can increase the specularity. Under here, you have a principal uh, shader, which is awesome. It's really, really good stuff. So you can just change the roughness, you can change the color, yeah. plug in your own textures. We see a lot of people using this uh, who, they're amazing sculptors, modelers, whatever, but they don't necessarily know how to light. And it takes some time to get used to lighting. And I think it's a valuable skill to have. For a lot of people, they just want to spend their time modeling. Yeah, I mean, this is why we made the scene because we don't want to spend our time lighting. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> we know how to do it. I mean, clearly we do because we, we made the scene. Yeah. But uh, it's just it's just meant for people who who want to spend most of their time lighting. And this being part of the Flip Normals Lighting Scene version two, this also comes with a, a, a fully functional Macbeth chart as yes. well as the Gray Sphere and Chrome Sphere. Down here. So the Macbeth chart should be um, pretty up to up to date. With, yeah, the, late, with the latest good. colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, people are looking at this and being like, so what is that? Well, first and foremost, it just looks cool. <laughs> like that is like, honestly, when you ask students, so why do you have a Macbeth chart in your modeling reel? They're like, well, it looks industry ready. Uh, the, so, I mean, yeah, you can do that for that yeah. as well. The real reason it's there is so that you can evaluate the lighting. This, you wouldn't really use this in production for just a pure light, for like for a modeling shot, no. because that doesn't really do anything. But for texturing shot, you do because this is a 50% gray and this is full on reflection and here you have colors yeah which just means that you can now if you know what this color is supposed to be now you can just do the difference between them and you know exactly what the lighting is doing yeah uh, it's kind of side note but uh it's kind of interesting just to know what this is first and foremost just looks kind of cool <laughs> <laughs> So that I mean that's basically it in terms of the light setup. There are some specific blender things you can do as well. Like there's a denoiser if you go to the second tab, uh, the scene tab, and there's a denoiser. This is not as good as something like the Nvidia one. This is not based on AI or machine learning, whatever the hell they throw into them. <laughs> which uh, the Nvidia one is fantastic, yeah. but this still does a pretty damn good job. You can simply just enable it. You aren't going to see any differences here. No, but um. This that, could help with something like your subsurface scatter materials because they tend to be a little more noisy. They might yeah. need some more samples, so a denoiser can can help there. Yeah, exactly. And then we have uh, we have a filmic LUT as well, which some people were asking, why don't you enable the filmic LUT on top? And uh, some people were saying that it's it just looks better. Mm. Well, we still think this looks pretty good. Yeah. It, it doesn't necessarily look better. It looks different. It has yeah. a maybe it has a bit of a harsher grade. It might be a bit cooler. It might have some bit more Hollywood colors to it. Uh, whatever it might be, you you're more than welcome to enable. Yeah, I mean, we really wanted to pr to give you the most sort of neutral package. It's an art directed neutral lighting package where you can sort of modify it to your heart's content. Yeah. So if you want to use a filmic lot, you know, feel free. We don't want to restrict you by having that be part of the setup. No, not at all. 
I'm just having fun now because I'm just really enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's a labor of love, and yeah, it, it's yes. evolved throughout the years as well. So you know, we've added more and more features and more and more scenes to make it up to date and keep it keep it fresh, basically. Yeah. Call this the Oscars because <laughs> it looks like the Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, so you have some some scenes which are they're very good for presentation in terms of like it's an objective uh, view. It's very very low contrast yeah. and uh, you know it's a it's a good way to evaluate a model. And then you have some of these which looks a bit cooler, like which they're just they're just a bit more art directed. They're just a bit. A bit more interesting, maybe. I've actually never seen the scene with that material on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely shouldn't use all of them. But that's the thing. Like, there's so many, there's so many combinations yeah. that that you can throw at this scene. So, um, a lot of it we we still haven't really seen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we were writing like thousands of variations, and that's true. <laughs> like, you truly can get thousands of variations with this. Yeah, I'm I'm just having fun. With this <laughs> <laughs> Shiny. So if you are interested in this lighting scene, it's currently 50% off now mm. uh, during our Black Friday sale. You can find it on in link in the description. There's also a free version of it as well, yep. which is available. So uh, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy this, this scene. Please send us your renders. Yeah, we'd we love, love to them. see that. Use the hashtag flip normals on Instagram or something, yeah. and then we'll be able to find them easier, yeah. more easily. So thanks a lot. <laughs>